All right, hello everybody. It is I, Granorite, and here we are with our next playthrough on Pokemon Emerald, which is Steel type, which is going to be Registeel, Steelix, Agron, Mawile, and Skarmory. And as we do in our first episode, we're going to get this team up to level 7, read some Pokemon Biologies, and then go on. We're going to start out here with Registeel, who, like Regirock, only knows Explosion right now. And we need to get it up high enough that it actually can do something. Uh, so Registeel, slow leveling great Pokemon. Registeel is a large robotic Pokemon. Most of Registeel's body is spherical and gray, while the middle of its face has the appearance of being exposed as it shows black skin uh, and is surrounded by raised metal. Registeel's lower half is disc-like in shape and has two cylindrical legs without toes. Its face uh, consists of seven red dots in a hexagon formation, and it has a black uh, and it has black arms with three fingers each that are connected to its upper half by a gray hemispherical shoulders. The backs of its hands have three red triangles pointing away from the fingers. While Registeel has been classified as a Steel-type Pokemon, its body is hollow and made of a material that is harder than any known metal. However, this material stretches and shrinks despite its hardness. Uh, while one Pokedex entry has noted that the material that forms Registeel's body is extraterrestrial, it is also theorized... Uh, just a second... Um, that Registeel was actually born inside the Pokemon's... Pokemon World's mantle before emerging onto the surface 10,000 years ago. Further evidence supporting this theory is the fact that Registeel's body was tempered by pressure underground over thousands of years. As a result, it cannot be scratched. Another theory po posits that Registeel was created by Regigigas out of magma. It is unknown what Registeel could eat. It was sealed away in ruins by people during ancient times. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Registeel. Uh, Ruby says, Registeel has a body that is harder than any kind of metal. Its body is apparently hollow. No one has any idea what this Pokemon eats. Sapphire says, Registeel was imprisoned by people in ancient times. Um, the metal composing its body is thought to be a curious substance that is not of this earth. Emerald says, its body is hotter than any kind of metal. The body metal is composed of a mysterious substance that is not only hard, um, it shrinks and stretches flexibly. And Fire Red and Leaf Green all say that um, it is sturdier than any kind of metal. It's, it hardened due to pressure underground over tens of thousands of years. And that is our information on Registeel. Alright, so we're going to finish getting Registeel here up. Uh, we have Onyx is who we're going to read about next. Onyx, of course, medium fast leveling rate. Onyx is a Pokemon composed of a giant chain of gray boulders that become smaller towards the tail. Its length makes it the tallest rock Pokemon. It has black eyes and a, and a rounded snout. On top of its head is a rocky spine. As it grows older, it becomes more rounded and smoother, eventually becoming similar to Black Diamond. Inside its brain is a magnet that serves as an internal compass, guiding Onyx wherever they need to go and prevents them from getting lost while digging. Onyx tunnels under the ground at over 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour, which causes tremors and a terrifying roar that echoes a long way. Hard objects encountered while uh, tunneling are absorbed into its body, which makes it very sturdy. It also consumes the boulders for food. The massive winding tunnels it leaves behind are used as home by Diglett. As seen in Pokemon Stadium series, Onyx is capable of rotating its head or any part of its body in a full 360 degrees. It is a very aggressive Pokemon that will constantly attack humans and other Pokemon when in pain, as seen in the anime. As seen in the Pokemon Adventures manga, Onyx can be separated from its body segments in battle and be fine later on either regenerating or reattaching to its body segments. It is said that Onyx that lives for about a thousand years will evolve into a Steelix uh, after its composition becomes more diamond-like. It can be found in mountains and caves. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Onyx. Um, 
Ruby Sapphire and Emerald all say Onyx has a magnet in its brain. It acts as a compass uh, so that this Pokemon does not lose direction while tunneling. Uh, as it grows older, its body becomes increasingly rounder and smoother. And then Fire Red says it usually lives underground. It searches for food while boring its way through the ground at 50 miles per hour. And Leaf Green says as it grows, the stone portions of its body harden and become similar to black colored diamond. Whew, sorry. And that is our information on Onyx. So we're going to keep working on Registeel and Onyx here. Let's look at Mawile here. So Mawile is a fast leveling rate Pokemon. Mawile is a short bipedal humanoid Pokemon with a pale yellow body. Its three-fingered hand and two-toed feet are black. It has red eyes and a pair of long black ear-like extensions on either side of its head. Its legs resemble a Hakama. Uh, the most notable feature is a, large, is a pair of large black jaws emerging from the back of its head. These jaws have a yellow oval-shaped spot on their top surface. They contain 10 sharp metallic teeth, 6 on the top row and 4 on the bottom. Uh, and while the jaws are actually transformed steel horns, Mawile can articulate them at will, using them to bite enemies with enough force to break an iron beam. These jaws are incapable of tasting, uh, leading Mawile to use them... Uh, or these jaws are capable of tasting, leading Mawile to use them to eat food uh, it does not like. Mawile is uh, typically found in caves. It uses its non-threatening appearance to make foes underestimate it, and then it attacks with its giant jaws, uh, sometimes swallowing it, its prey whole. When engaged in battle, Mawile usually has its back turned to the enemy to make better use of its jaws. <laughs> Again, sorry. Hmm. Uh, so we have Ruby says Mawile's huge jaws are actually steel horns that have been transformed. Its docile looking face serves to lull its foe into letting its guard down. When it, the foe least expects it, Mawile chomps down with its gaping jaws. Uh, Sapphire says don't be taken by this Pokemon's cute face and it's very dangerous. Mawile fools the foe into letting down its guard then chops down with its massive jaws. The steel jaws are really horns that have been transformed. And uh, Emerald says its giant jaws are actually steel horns that transformed. It fools a foes into complacency with its adorable gestures and then chops down with its huge jaws. And Fire Red and Leaf Green says it uses its docile looking face to low, low foes into complacency, then bites with its huge relentless jaws. And that is our information on Mawile. And here we are using Skarmory, who we'll read about next. So Skarmory is a silver gray avian Pokemon with a long metallic blue neck, uh, legs, and tail. It has yellow eyes and a pointed beak with several pointed teeth and a triangular crest on its head. There are red feathers under the sheaths that cover up its sharp wings and each feather can be moved independently. Its wings are actually hollow, allowing it to travel up to 185 miles per hour or 300 kilometers per hour. Its feet have three toes on them, two in the front and one in the back, and its tail has hooked ends. Its steel wings uh, become ta its steel wings become tattered and bashed in from repeated battles. But once a year, the battered wings grow back completely. This process uh, restores the cutting edges of its feathers, which are sharp enough to be used as blades, and sharper than any man-made sword. Its skin and feathers are solid due to being raised in very harsh conditions. Its nests are usually found in thorn bushes, where continual scratching of an individual's skin will eventually harden it into an iron-like state. However, water can cause Skarmory's hard body to rust easily, so it stays in its nest on rainy days. In ancient regions where this Pokemon are common, warriors used the sharp feathers that fell off Skarmory as swords. It is a popular Pokemon that is used for heraldic signs, and in Galar it has violent territorial clashes with Corviknight. And 
our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Skarmory. Uh, Ruby says, Skarmory is entirely cased in hard pr protective armor. This Pokemon flies at close to 190 miles per hour. It slashes foes with wings that possess sword-like cutting edge. Edges. Uh, Sapphire said, Skarmory steel wings become tattered and bashed in from repeated battles. Once a year, the battered wings grow back completely, restoring the cutting edges to their pristine state. Emerald says, a Pokemon that has a Pokemon that has a body of wings of steel. Um, people in the past use feathers fallen from Skarmory to make swords and knives. Fire Red says, after nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. And Leaf Green says, its sturdy wings look heavy, but its bones are hollow and light, allowing it to fly freely in the sky. And that is our information on Skarmory. We're still working here on... Registeel. Bob Wilder fake tears and that lowers special defense. We're really just trying to get Registeel up to 7, since we need it to get to level 9 before it learns its first attack. Attack on Steelix, attack and speed on Skull. And then wherever the special attack stuff falls is where it falls. Alright, Registeel hits 7. Excellent. Let's hit the other Pokemon. Actually, we'll keep going with Registeel up to level 9 right now. Uh, and then we can just use our other Pokemon uh, in the trainer fights. There's no reason for us to switch. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Well, there goes Registeel. Um, there's no reason for us to switch in Registeel on the trainer fights, except that he gets a bit more experience. But if we can just get it to level 9 now, then we don't have to worry about doing it through the trainer fights. We're just going to run away from that because nobody needs special attack. They are all very much physical attackers. Of course, Mawile does learn, like, all of the dark attacks, like Bite, Fake Attack, and Crunch.
Well, we still need to read about Arn. So Arn is another slow leveling rate Pokemon. So we have three slow leveling rates, one medium fast and one fast. So Arn is a quadrupedal Pokemon with four stubby legs and a large round head. Its body is black with plates of gray armor covering its head, back, and legs. Throughout its body are small openings in the armor. There are six openings on its head, with the largest two being openings for its pale blue eyes, and one opening on either side of the, uh, the spike on its back. A single blunt spike protrudes from its back. Arn feeds on iron ore that it digs up from mountains. It uses this iron to make its body sometimes... Uh, to make its body. Sometimes, hunger will drive it to descend from the mountains to eat bridges and rails, uh, which makes it a pest. It is a... It makes a new suit of armor after evolving, uh, while its old discarded armor is salvaged for making iron products. People have been collecting armors, are on shed armor since ancient times. With uh, one all-out charge, it could demolish even a heavy dump truck, and it lives on mountains. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for Auron. Uh, Ruby says this Pokemon has a body of steel. To make its body, uh, Arn feeds on iron ore that it digs from mountains. Occasionally, it causes major trouble by eating its bridges and rails. Sapphire says uh, Arn has a body of steel. With one all-out charge, this Pokemon can demolish even a heavy dump truck. The destroyed dump truck then becomes a handy meal for the Pokemon. Emerald says a Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron products. And Fire Red and Leaf Green say it eats iron to build its steel body. It's the pest that descends from mountains to eat bridges and train tracks. And that is our information on Arn. Steel is level eight. is now at level 7, so it is done. Which means no more Wurmples. Mawile is level 7, which means it is done. Puchienas and zigzagoons. Closer with Registeel. No Wurmples. Uh, 
one more. Alright, and Registeel learned Metal Claw. Let's finish getting up Skarmory and Aran. There'll be a lot of training for this team. With three slow levelers, we're going to need a lot of experience to get them up. Slap. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna we're just gonna keep our run up front, I think. <laughs> Youngster Calvin sends out his Poochiana. Get used to seeing those words a lot. So defense is a stat that we will not be lacking in with this team. That's two speed drops. Oh. We're probably going to be slower than the Wumple now. Maybe not. I think our speed can go any lower. Ooh, 
we're gonna have to be picky about what Mawal fights early on because it can't hurt normal type Pokemon with its single ghost move that it has. So no one on our team can get poisoned except for Onyx right now. Let's let Mawile take on this Shroomish. Good flinch. Good flinch. So, our name is sold, uh, means iron ore, I believe, um, in the language that, that it's native from. I have to look at it again. I was, I was looking up a list of names and such. Alright, we're going to speed through the Wally encounter. front for now so I think there is a heart scale here there's some uh, there is a couple hidden items didn't really need the antidote
Skarmory doesn't have any issues taking out the Zigzagoon. C dot coming out next. We'll swap over to Mawile for a C dot. The Intimidate's not going to matter because it's just going to use Bide. Good flinch. Good flinch. What is the flinch rate on Astonish? Because we seem to be getting a lot, which is very nice. scale around here somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Oh, there it is. It's like right in the middle. That was my chance. We just want to get one of those for when we get to the move uh, tutor guy that if we need to, want to learn anything, it's, you know, prior stuff, we can. Good splash. Well, I should have screeched it. Let's screech this thing down. We're just going to speed through this first part where we're dropping its defense as low as we can go. Swap up Skarmory for the Zigzagoon. Oh, after we pick the Orange Berries and the Pecha Berries. We'll probably go back and heal just to get our Astonishes back for Mawile. Because it only has like eight of them. I mean, 15 total. has eight left. Bug Trainer. Uh, I do have movesets picked out for the team, of course. Uh, at least what we're going to try to go for. So the movesets we're looking at... Oh, I didn't need to do another one. For Steelix, we're looking at Iron Tail, Earthquake, Toxic, and Protect. 
uh, for Skarmory, we're looking at Steel Wing, Aerial Ace, Spikes, and Double Team. Agron, I've got Iron Tail, Rock Tomb, Roar, and Double Edge. Mawile, I have Iron Defense, Secret Power, Sludge Bomb, uh, Baton Pass. And then Registeel, I have Metaclaw, Amnesia, Curse, Super Pass. So our iron, our steel moves are two Iron Tails, one Steel Wing, one Iron Defense, and one Metal Claw. And Onyx is missing lots of hits. Goodness. Onyx is missing a lot. But there's level 8 for Onyx, so that's nice. We'll swap over to Arun. Should have just stuck with the tackles. Well, I do have another Orin Berry now. I can bet the Orin. Let's swap him up front. Shroomish, I really love Shroomish. So we're actually going to be lower level for this fight because this guy's going to have a level 9 Poochiena. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're faster than it. That are we speed tied. goodness who's gonna miss first he is we might swap actually here With the accuracy drops on Aron, it was just going to be a pain in the bottom.
right, this guy's got two Ninkadas. Perfect for Auron. back. Oh, that critical hit might get like two. Wow, another critical hit? Really? Good flinch. Let's use a potion. On our Stop that. We have yet to use a Pokemon in any of our playthroughs that can learn Bullet Seed. Of course, I guess it's only Grass type. Tad. We're gonna 
Shroomish. Regis deal on this next fight just because of the stats that we get from the two Pokemon in this double battle. My tracker shows the fairy typing of my while, even though fairy type isn't like thing yet. Strap in for this exciting fight. Hit the screeches. Really, Onyx. Someone is having an issue with accuracy. two screeches. Alright, two cherry berries and two weapon berries. Defend. Well, let's go up to the Cutter's house and get cut. Go ahead and T 
which will make sure no one can run bullets here, right? Right. Heal up, and then we'll go into the trainer school. Claw. And then we are going to end this episode here for today since I need to grass train now up to 15 on everybody. So we do hope you all enjoyed the episode and we'll see you next time.